let's discuss the importance of self-care. Um, during this time, you know, c continuing self-care is extremely important. Um, we know there's a lot of people, especially extroverts, that are cooped up in the house, aren't able to be as social as usual. And sometimes the only time uh, some of us practice any form of self-care is when we have plans outside of the house. Stress levels have been on the rise, which is a normal response to a perceived threat or upset to one's equilibrium. With that, you can also experience burnout, which is a psycholog psychological response to, one, uh, to too much stress, experience of long-term exhaustion and, is, and diminished uh, interest, compassion fatigue, which is a combination of physical, emotional, and spiritual depletion associated with caring for others. Relationships are the cornerstone of the helping relationship and empathy is essential in the development of a relationship. When frequently exposed to the stress and traumas experienced by others and confronted with their vulnerabilities and frailties, empathy can be overtaxed. Compassion fatigue is the result of that. And there are several things that you can do to help cut down some of the stress levels that you have. Um, you know, on the physical side, eating well, uh, sleeping well, spending time outside, rather than in your yard, um, pampering yourself indoors, even sex. On the emotional side, you have, you know, you can cry, laugh, scream, um, psychological, self-reflect, create a journal, um, pleasure reading, declutter, clean up the house, um, and then keep extraneous violence drama, uh, trauma out of your life. On the spiritual side, meditate, read, talk to others, pray. No matter how you choose to implement self-care, it's, it's highly important, especially during these highly stressful times, um, these other times of your life. But right now, it's more important than ever to make sure you practice self-care.